This is Vince Russo's The Brand. Hey, what's yeah. going on, everyone? Oh, you said you wanted me to start it. I said, I'll start it. You can cuss, motherfucker, but okay. Anyway. Oh, oh, yeah. See, so, yeah, I thought you said I should start it. See, I told you I'm fucked up. Okay, you go ahead. Everybody, welcome to Wrestling With Tragedy. Uh, this week, uh, John Poz, I'm able to be joining us. So you've got the ECW original, the Suntan Superman, the Kingpin, Angel Motherfucking Medina in the house. What's going on? What's going on? And you've got me, the dad bod god, the bald, the beard, the beautiful Piers Austin, also in the motherfucking house. And ladies and gentlemen, this week we have a very, very special topic that we're going to be covering off. It is going to be Rocky Johnson. If you have not been looking at what's been going on in the world of professional wrestling uh, and everything else in between, it's understood that the Rock himself, the original Rock, Rocky Johnson, uh, as found out to ha have had five illegitimate children, uh, which has all come out in the last couple of weeks, uh, who is, and Rocky Johnson is not also the Rock Dwayne Johnson's father. Uh, Rocky Johnson now deceased. Uh, so uh, all this has come out uh, post-mortem, but we're going to be getting into that and much, much more about the soul man, Rocky Johnson. But before we do, we're going to take a quick pause to cover off some of those amazing sponsors. First up is healthvape.com. Now, healthvape.com is your healthy vaping alternative. All of their products are no nicotine no addictive or harmful chemicals, and they are vitamin infused. They help restore your energy while giving you the vital boost you need to get through your day. So go and check out healthvape.com. Use that promo code MWAPOD to get a 10% discount on your final purchase. Also, guys, make sure you go and check out sleeps.com. That's S L E F S. Now, Kingpin, you love a bit of your sleeves and you love those dirty boxes, right? Absolutely, man. Sleeves.com is one of the best websites out there for any athlete who is definitely stepping up their game on any type of sports field. But the dirty boxes are the, the classic. I enjoy them. I like wearing them. I mean, definitely use promo code. MWA pod to get 10% off. You won't regret it. The dirty boxes are legit. You will enjoy them. Sleeves.com. Boom, sleeps.com. Thank you very much. But, uh, you know, we are the Wrestling With Tragedy team. We are the crack investigation unit of the Vince Russo brand. You can find us every single week with a brand new episode and get exclusive first access to those shows on patreon.com slash Russo TWC and Russo's brand dot com. But man, well, we're going to definitely be talking about Rocky Johnson, you know, also known as Wade Douglas Bowles. You know, one of the great athletes out there from back in the 70s, you know, guy who was trained by, uh, you know, Maya Villa, uh, also uh, many other athletes, you know, um, in regards to uh, Rocky, Rocky Boley. I never heard of him before. And also Kurt Von Stryger. I know I'm butchering those names, but uh, those are the people that trained him. He's also built from Canada, you know, so um, definitely Rocky Johnson, one of his greatest athletes out there, definitely tagging with Tony Atlas. Um, he was an impact in this uh a professional wrestling world and also definitely one of the fathers of one of the great ones and the most electrifying superstar in professional wrestling 100 percent, dude and you know like rocky johnson you know he, the soul man's career bro like he was you know one of the first uh black african-american person of color you know tag team champions or champion in ww F at the time with Tony Atlas, uh, Mr. Twinkle Toes himself. Um, Angel, like I think like that sort of run and uh you know with the with the Soul Patrol uh and the Soul Man Rocky Johnson was probably a little bit before my time when I started watching wrestling. Uh what what's your memories of you know the Soul Man? Like were you a fan of Rocky Johnson as a kid? No, no, I was never a fan of him. I never I'm not saying I didn't know he existed, it's just when I got into the, the professional wrestling world, um, it was 1987, around that time, when I started getting into the wrestling, um, the bug. So I was more focused on the NWA and stuff like that. I mean, as I went through the, you know, watching wrestling, learning about wrestling, yeah, I knew about Rocky Johnson, but I didn't follow his career like some other athletes. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, as far as an in-ring performer from what you've seen of Rocky Johnson, were you 
did you think he was like a great talent? Do you think he was like overrated? Like what were your thoughts once you sort of started getting in and started seeing little bits of his, of his work? No, I mean, Michael Jackson was very athletic. I mean, the guy had a great physique, you know, um, especially teaming up with Tony Atlas, two gentlemen that were definitely at the top of their physical game. You know, um, I seen some of his matches. The guy was very athletic. The guy had some charisma um, in the ring. I mean, his promo skills were okay. I mean, um, what I saw, but again, it's not knocking that hit. It was horrible. It was just, you know, it was not like the rocks. You know, it's not like Stone Cold. It was more from Melo you know, no, no holds barred, you know, grit uh, type of wrestler. So he he was one of the top guys. I mean, at the time, it's just I wish he would have got a bigger push during the um, WWF era. Yeah, I mean, do you think he could have been a guy like – I know, you know, race comes into it a lot, a, a lot of that time as well in the 80s, right? So do you think, like, they could have put the world title on him, like, prior to Hogan? Or do you think – he was never that caliber of main eventer. Mm. My opinion during that time, during that era, during um, the seventies, I don't think anybody held. I mean, my opinion. I know Pedro Morales held the title, but I'm just saying, any person of any of color it was very, very difficult to get a title wrapped around their uh, waist. I mean, guys with like um, Bruno San Martino, Bob Backlund. You know, these are the individuals that you know, held titles for a very long time, but Rocky Johnson was not going to hold, you know, WWF gold around his waist during his um, run. I, I just would never have seen, you know, believe it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and dude, have you had the opportunity yet to watch any of uh, the Young Rock, the TV series about the Rock's life growing up? No, every time I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not that I don't want to watch it. It's just I do miss it, you know. So, um, you know, every time I remember to watch it, it just has already passed. So I haven't really oh. watched the series, and I don't know how 100% factual that is. You know, sometimes they do things on shows to make it a little more uh, entertaining. So I don't know how much is to the truth. I, I find, like, I've I've watched every episode of the series, both seasons. Uh, mm -hmm. I think as a TV show, brilliant you know what i mean like as a pro wrestling tv show uh i think i think it's, it's brilliant like it, it's it's groundbreaking in some ways um but they did receive a little bit of criticism because they rocky johnson is portrayed uh in this show as a loving caring family man which i'm not saying that he wasn't but yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to get into about him. That he is portrayed as sometimes as a little in the show as a little bit of a con man and a carny, uh, which pro wrestling at that time, I'm sure there's plenty of them. Um, but you know, which is interesting is the time that in reality when Rocky Johnson met uh, Arta Maivia, mm -hmm. uh, he was currently married with two children. Well, Tony Alice. Or my my video. Oh, my uh, Johnson. Johnson. Okay, yeah. Met, uh, at it. So he was married, had two children, and so you know what I mean. Like he then you know started a relationship with Adam Maivia, and then that in instilled there, and that also went from being, um, as far as like the relationship goes, blossoming into marriage, and then obviously the Rock being born. But like the Maivia family, Leah and Peter Maivia were against it because Rocky Johnson was actually the tag team partner of Rocky Maivia at the time. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, Tony Ellis was the tag team partner of Rocky Maivia. No, he was the two. What'd you say? Peter Maivia was the tag team partner of Rocky Maivia at the time of the. Oh, okay. I, no, I'm thinking of Tony Ellis. Sorry, my mistake. I mean, the, um, you know, um, with the Rock, I mean, Rock, with Rocky Johnson, I mean, like I said, he was one of those individuals that definitely was an asset to the Afro-American Afro race. You know, that's why everybody loved him. You know, um, he was just the, like the head guy. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I admire what he done in his business in regards to like helping other athletes excel in this business and putting guys over. And also like, I mean, like I said, he was a very, um, energetic and very charismatic individual i'm not saying that like i said his promos weren't the best but in the ring he was very charismatic he was very uh captivating 
but going back to you know Peter Maivia being against the relationship of uh, you know his daughter Arta and and Rocky Johnson, um, you know because of obviously him being you know married and you know and and having children as well. Do you think that could have been the reason, like them going, hey, like this guy isn't really a good like that good of a guy, like you can't be running around with a married man, or is it that you know they just didn't want their daughter involved with someone that's a wrestler? Well, I mean, also, I mean. It's difficult to say what was going on in <clears throat> Baivia's brain. I mean, was he an outsider? Yes. Was he not Samoan? Yes. Was he um, have other children? Y- yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that could have held that. That you know, in regards to the dad being like, you know, hey, I'm not. I don't condone this relationship. And again, he had kids. He was married. I mean, those are a lot of strikes against them. You know, so I, I could just see why Baivia didn't like his daughter dating a wrestler because wrestlers are whores, you know, and he knows the business. So he, you know, it's just like the Bobby, um, Bobby Eaton situation where, you know, you know, you know, you know, the boys, you know how the boys are. So when your daughter dates a wrestler, you know, you're like, oh, I don't want her to date a wrestler because you know how you were. So then I'm not saying my via did anything. I'm just saying he just knows the boys. So he just figured he was just one of the guys and he's just going to be whoring around. Yeah. And like obviously, what we found out that was true, right? No, oh, I mean in regards to his uh, children. It, yeah, like obviously he was out there like fucking like a rabbit. Yeah, but the funny thing is that the one thing I don't like about the fact is that now everybody comes out when he's dead. These people yeah. never existed, you know, before when he was alive. All of a sudden, now they want to claim that fame. And again, I'm not, I'm not saying that's what they're doing, but it doesn't look good. You know, now they're like, "Oh, hey, Rock, I'm your brother. Can you hook me up with a hook me up with a show, or you know, or have Child him in your, show. or just have him in your fold? Like, hey, he's my brother. You know. Do you feel like the Rock owes these people anything for no, his dad's misgivings? No, no, you don't owe him shit. That's that's not uh, Dwayne's fault. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not his fault that his dad did what he did, so he can be held accountable for that. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. But it's interesting because I, I was reading the story uh, about the five people, and and one of them, uh, Lisa Purvis, uh, she actually was writing uh, a book or something, I, I believe, about it. I'll get into it in a second. But Lisa Purvis was 18 the first time she reached out to uh, the professional wrestler who she believed who was a father. On, the, on that occasion, he hung up on her. A few years later, he try, uh, she tried to leave a message, uh, which never heard anything back. She turned 30. She once more got, uh, you know, the Rocky on the phone, told him who she was, and once more he hung up on her. Uh, you know, she actually, this person, Lisa, went uh, so far as to ask other wrestlers over the years to speak to Rocky for her, but nothing came of it. Like, which is understandable, bro. Like, who wants to get involved in 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 someone's messy family life, bro? Like, I can I can understand not wanting to get involved in it. Um, but the but problem Rock- is, but the problem is, before you go any further, it's just hard to be like somebody calls you, hey. I'm your long lost daughter, man. Whatever, click. You know, like that's just the thing. How did he know about these kids when they were born? Did he know yes. they supposedly, apparently, hypothetically? Yeah, allegedly. He allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. So again, it's allegedly that he knew, but no guarantee that he did. So those are hard situations to kind of like um, say, like, yeah, he uh, he knew because now he's dead. There's no way to. Ask him those questions. Now we just have to go from the story of what she says or he says, you know? But you know what? Like, you know, she, Lisa growing up, you know, she only ever told her best friends about her, her dad, uh, you know. And, she, you know, from what I was reading, she was really embarrassed that her father didn't want her. You know, at 53 years old, it's taken her decades before she, you know, confronted that embarrassment. You said she's got 53? A, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But like, bro, to be able to go through that and to be like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, we're both parents, right? We're both, you know, loving parents of our children. And I I could not go through life, you know, going, no, I want nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? Like that, that to me is hard. 
that's hard to accept. And, you know, he allegedly knew about all of these kids. So allegedly. what is it? But like, okay, so let's say allegedly he did know about all these kids, right, over the years. What sort of human being does that make him that he's just like, yeah, fuck this. I, like, I want nothing to do with this shit. But again, he's a, he's a celebrity. He's in the public eye. I mean, he's one of those individuals that, um, that I mean, it's hard to take things at face value. So, like I said, I mean, you say he knew allegedly. But again, let's just say he didn't know. And the people calling him saying, hey, I'm your long lost kid. You know, it's just you, you're protecting yourself, like ah, oh, whatever. You know, just like somebody just hit me up on my um on Instagram, not Instagram, on Messenger. Hey, can you lend me some money? Who the hell are you? You know, and I'm, I told him to go fuck himself. You know, but the thing is, I'm just trying to try to be mean. But why would you ask me for money? I don't even know who you are. It's the same thing, man. He probably just didn't really you know, believe that he's the father of um of those children. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I mean, Lisa set out to make a documentary about the children, uh, about children whose parents knowingly separated from them, uh, but she couldn't find any subjects willing to talk openly. Then a friend suggested she turn the camera around and make the documentary about herself. Uh, Lisa, it took some convincing, but Lisa agreed. Um, and when only then would she come to see she was far from alone. So before, you know, Wade Bowles fathered many children. He was one of many children. He was the fourth of five boys. He was active, you know, early in boxing and, and pivoted into his 20s to wrestling. Mm. You know, as you said, he trained in Ontario, Canada, and he was well known for being Rocky Johnson. So his big break came in Los Angeles when he toured North America for the next 15 years, winning dozens of titles, singles, and tag team titles across territories. Uh, you know, which obviously culminated in national exposure as he and Tony became the, the WWE's first black tag team champions, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and even Tony Alice got in trouble for like going to a bodybuilding uh, tournament when he was supposed to be wrestling. Well, dude, what, what's interesting that I found, like, and I, I found this by watching the, the documentary, is around the, the first time of, Wrestle, uh, of WrestleMania 1, Rocky was hot at Vince, like in the show. I don't know how, how real or true this is. He was hot at Vince McMahon because he was kept off the card. Mm -hmm. And Rocky contacted another promoter who was running a show in Saudi Arabia at the time and said, hey, I want to be on the show, blah, blah, blah. Vince McMahon calls Rocky and says, hey, I need you to go work Saudi Arabia. Rocky thinks, hey, I'm going to pull double, I can pull double duty here. Uh, word gets back to Vince that Rocky's worked another show and that's what caused this big, separation between Rocky Johnson and Vince McMahon because obviously Rocky had a contract and many like from what I understand that was the reason of the downfall of Rocky Johnson and his wrestling career yeah I mean but it's, it's just weird because I mean a lot of times I can explain it it's just very difficult that Vince did not um did not um did not uh see the value of Rocky, you know, Rocky, I mean, the thing is, is I mean, the guy was physically fit. The guy was, like I said, charismatic, but I don't think he, he um, Vince gave him enough credit to, like, put him in, in top spots, if that makes sense. I mean, but look at the time, bro. Like, the, the talent that they had there at the time. Like, it, it, let me just bring up WrestleMania 1, the card. And, like, who can you honestly take off that? That card. So let me just bring it up. WrestleMania one. Uh you know, I'm just loading it now. But like, dude, you can only have so much many like name talent on the show. Okay, so the results. So it was Tito Sam Santa uh, Tito Santana versus the Executioner, King Kong Bundy versus uh special delivery Jones, Ricky Steamboat defeated Matt Bourne, Brutus the Barber Beefcake defeated David San Martino. Uh, Junkyard Dog defeated, defeated Greg Valentine. The Iron Sheik and Nicole, uh, Nicola Cola of Olkoff defeated the U.S. Express. Andre the Giant defeated Big John Studd. Wendy Richter defeated Leilani Kai. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T defeated Paul Orndorff and Roddy Piper. Where could you take someone off there and put in Rocky Johnson? I'm trying to think. I'm just looking at the card mentally. Um, they could have squeezed him, and they could have just done some type of angle where he got involved. 
I mean, I know you didn't want to get rid of him, Wendy Rickner. Um, Tito Santana was hot. Um, who else was on it? David San Martino versus Brutus Beef that cake. So I'm I'm saying I think they could have took off David San Martino because David San Martino wasn't wasn't a draw. The only reason that David San Martino was put in that situation is just because he's Bruno San Martino's son. Was he, he was, though? Or was he just trained by San Martino? No, he was Bruno San Martino's son. Uh, and I'll look it up, but I know for a fact. Yeah, no, he is. is. He is. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he's the son. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah. Um, do you think putting David San Martino in that match was more of just to appease, you know, San Martino, Big Daddy? Absolutely. Man, and people wonder, real quick, if anybody's wondering why me and Crackers, I'm nauseous. I have a concussion, so sorry. Anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Bruno San Martino was the, the face of WWF. So Vince... Dude, it's just like The Rock, man. If The Rock went up to Vince and said, hey, I want you to put over my daughter, I either respect or give her a big push. Yeah, I think Vince would do it because, again, Brock made the business. Bruno Sammartino made that company. It's out of loyalty. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, you know, looking at the card, like, do you think WrestleMania 1 was as iconic as what it was besides the, like, let's take the main event out of it. And maybe let's take out Andre versus Big John Studd out of it. Like, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, is the rest of the card that spectacular? No, the rest of the card was spectacular because it was one of those shows that it was like, didn't know where it was going to go. So, I'm not saying it was put together like, oh, the shits. It's just, they didn't know where it was going to go. They didn't know it was going to be successful. I mean, it was just something to put together, you know? So, yeah. no. Oh, sorry. No, I, I completely agree. Um, you know, I, I think as well with Rocky Johnson, you know, like Rocky going and choosing to do another show over Vince's and, and or trying to do double duty and try and sort of like, you know, do you think he was trying to pull the wool over like Vince's eyes or do you think he was just trying to get an extra payday? He was trying to get an extra payday, man. The guy got to feed his family. You heard the stories that he was not living very well. Yeah, I get it. If this was that concerned, he would have been paying him the money that he deserved, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, Rocky Johnson wasn't blacklisted from wrestling and performing in Saudi Arabia, like Young Rock implies, though, right? In the Young Rock series? Yeah. Like, it, it was kind of implied in the series that he was blacklisted from wrestling. Again, that is, I don't know, because I'm not his son. If Rock says that's what happened, I mean, I. I mean, he knows more than I would, you know. There was also um, a accusation about Rocky Johnson raping a nineteen-year-old. Again, that's allegedly. Yeah, like that's, uh, you know, again, like looking at it, it just seems like Rocky Johnson was a bit of a ladies' man. Yeah, but that's every wrestler. Yeah. I mean, you know. So, okay, like, looking at the generation, right? So, Rocky Johnson, he fathered these five kids. Wrestlers of that generation, like, on the road, no phones, no FaceTime, no fucking Facebook, no social media, uh, you know, on the road, how many days, are, like, back in the 70s and 80s, do you reckon? If you were, like, just a rough number. No, they worked, days. like, I mean, they worked every day, man. I mean, so, I want to say, like, six times a, six times a week. Right, so that's a lot of matches, bro. Away Maybe one from day fans. off. But like, let's let's put it like this: like, look at ECW, right? The like one of the most successful gimmicks of ECW, the Dudley Boys. The Dudley Boys is based on like Big Daddy Dudley, who basically went to all these territories and fucked all these women and fathered all these children, right? No. Yeah. So, like, how many guys of like the rock, like Rocky Johnson's era? Is this based on, bro? Like, is like even you look at that. Like, I kind of feel like the Dudleys is like one of those like that tongue in cheek, right? That almost like the Hanson brothers a slap shot. Um, but the whole thing of like wrestlers going to other territories, having you know different you know piece of ass in every town, and True. then like and like that shit could catch up to you, bro. How many wrestlers do we not even know about that would have had all these illegitimate children? 
But that's mostly everybody, man. I mean, that's just very difficult to, to to pinpoint because the fact is is that, I mean, once you, I mean, I'm not saying if you're single, the world's your oyster. You're definitely going to be going out and, and um, staking claim. So when you're traveling around and you're going to town to town, yeah, that, that's just no, that's just part of the business. I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying that's just part of the business. Well, it was part of the business in that time, bro. Like, it, you know, it, it's a different world what it is now but who knows man like it, it comes down to i think a lot of it just um you know that was what was happening in the time uh but you know these people that were going through their lives without a father that's pretty fucked up no i mean i agree that's pretty fucked up but i mean like i said before i mean it's just it, it was part of the business brother i mean it was just part of the business of you know wrestling you know i mean that just was the norm what can you do? Yeah, dude, look, you know, Rocky Johnson, you know, was married, like we said before, he uh, started his relationship with Arta to Una Sparks. And they had two children, Wanda and Curtis. Uh, you know, so Wanda, uh, Una, sorry, asked Wade to stay home in Toronto where he had a job lined up delivering fish. He chose that nomadic lifestyle of a pro wrestler. By the time they officially divorced in 78, they had been apart for many years. So the relationship, obviously, you know, he wasn't cheating on his wife with The Rock's mother. Uh, you know, the relationship had ended, but the official divorce came in 1978, uh, which is the same year that um, I believe they married. No, I... I in, in, no, I'm wrong there. But Rocky and Ada, by that point, had one child. Uh, the Rock was born in 72. Yeah. He was born in 72? Yeah, go ahead. What yeah, about it? So, no, no, I'm just sort of stating. So, like, I'm just trying to think when they – I think they got married in 78, but they had The Rock in 72. And the other kids? They didn't have any other kids, Ada and uh, – No, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about The Rock's mom. I'm talking about the other kids. Like the, the other two – the other two kids from the previous marriage, um, uh, I believe they saw very little of him. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, dude. Like, there's uh, another woman called Paula Parsons, Paula Parsons, who is 58, uh, and she has four kids of her own. Um, you know, she... Uh, you know, her mother was Thelma, uh, you know, met Rocky in Toronto when uh, her mother was 19. They carried on a relationship for two years. Uh, and then Thelma ended up having Paula in May 1964, a year and a half after Una Spurks gave birth to Wanda. And what were they trying to do? Well, Thelma... Uh, you know, dropped her child off with her parents who raised Paula. Uh, Paula eventually learned from her mother who her father was, uh, and she she says there's no question that Rocky knew about his first child. Uh, she was, uh, she says she called her, he, he called her twice, uh, once when she was relatively young and then when she was 16, promises after promises. Uh, she recalls, I'm going to come and see you, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you know, get your you know getting her hopes up that he's going to come and finally you know going to meet her dad and then nothing comes of it and was she expected a, a, anything different well i mean the, but you have to understand bro this she was a young child at the time so you know she's been told this person's her dad he's like on the phone yeah i'm your dad i'm gonna come see you i'm gonna bring you presents and then fucking no shows bro and pulls a high spot well i mean it's his business, man. I mean, the problem is, like I said, I, do I condone it? No. Do I say it's fucked up? Yeah. You know, that's the problem. I mean, it, but Rocky had his, his his reasons, I guess. Reasons or lack of wanting to take responsibility for your actions? I don't know. I mean, like I said, he has his reasons, you know, because he maybe didn't believe it. Back in those days, they didn't have DNA tests. You know, he'd be like, whatever, you ain't my kid. You know what I mean? It's just very hard. Yeah. Do you think that that's what it was? Do you think maybe he was just in denial about it? I think it was a denial. And I think it was because he, like I said, you know, he's a celebrity and many people coming out of the world were staking that they're there. The dad or the daughter of a celebrity is just like, all right, whatever. Well, bro, like the DNA tests have now been done because they got actually. Got After he died. Yeah. But the, who they've been in contact with was Rocky's Johnson's brother, Ricky Johnson. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, and they had a tag team in, in Hawaii's NWA Polynesian Pacific promotion, uh, the Soul Patrol, uh, but they weren't particularly close growing up. Uh, the boys' uh, father, James, died when Ricky was four, but still uh, the youngest last living of five Bowls boys. He was raised with a strong sense of what a parent should be. Uh, Ricky says, my mum told me what a good man uh, my dad was, compassionate he was, Ricky said, and I tried to take that with me. In 2017, Trevor, who's one of the, the sons of Rocky Johnson, yep. started sniffling around uh, through a little Facebook sleuthing uh, juice where and found out where Ricky lived, buzzed the apartment, left a message, explained uh, he believed that they were related. Ricky called him back that evening, invited Trevor to visit. Uh, R- Ricky took note uh, on Trevor's mannerisms and his walk, and Ricky was convinced. To be sure, they did run a, a DNA test, which eventually matched the nephew and uncle. Uh, they, Ricky says, I hugged him and told him I loved him and welcomed him to the family. Motherfucker, you don't even know the motherfucker. Now, oh, I love you? No, yeah. man, you don't You don't, You don't. don't say shit like that. I mean, I mean, everybody has their, their own opinion, but I'm just saying, like, if somebody came up to me and said, hey, I'm your long-lost your son, I'm not going to... You got to build a rapport. You got to build a connection. You yeah. can't just say love. I mean, anybody could say, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I mean, that's just like, okay, fine. If that's Rocky Johnson's kid, but why all these years? Why all of a sudden? Like, I mean, DNA, t- DNA tests were around four years ago. Yeah. They could have done that. They could have questioned him. They could have, uh, um, you know, do it face to face. But all of a sudden he, he dies, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's just something in that, that situation just like, but, bothers me that's all nothing i'm not saying like they're not the yeah kids. Like, why, do, why do why but you know what dude it looks like this shit was co- like people were contacting him and he was just nah fuck this he didn't want to face the music yeah but they could have reached out to his brother when he was alive say hey you know supposedly my dad doesn't want nothing to do with me we would we want to be vindicated to show proof that we are the son of rocky johnson we don't want anything we just want him to believe us because again he is not Except in the fact that we are his kids. Oh, okay, let's do it. You know, mm-hmm. it's not that they, they come back for back child support. They're grown people now. Yeah, I mean, dude, it, it's just one of those things which is so hard. Like, you know, looking at these these people that you know grew up without having a father, like not being involved in in their kids' lives, bro. Like, could you imagine not being involved in your daughter's life, bro? Like, I know she's your fucking world, man. Yeah, but I mean, again, I made that connection from day one, you know. But but if she would have came at me now, it would be like, damn, dude, why did you wait so long? You know. But okay. well, after I died. All right. So let me put it to you like this, right? Say a young child contacts you that's about 13, 14 years old. Click. And says, <laughs> all right, like, all right, let's say someone who's 21. Right, because that sort of puts you in the ECW realm, right? Yeah. All right. So, someone who's about twenty-one, early twenties, contacts you and says, "Hey, uh, Angel, you know, uh, you had a relationship with my mother. She's told me that you could potentially be my father. Uh, I just want to meet you. Would you? Would you meet that person? Would you go and give them the time of day if they said, yeah, I'll, I'll give them the time of day." I will give them the time of day but until they start asking for money and then you got to show me the car facts that you're my kid. But if they said, hey, let's go and get the test on to find out, would you do it? Yeah, I would do it. I'm not afraid of that shit. I don't give a fuck anymore. No, I, I yeah, I know. But that's that's the, my whole point, bro, is that you're a fucking man and you'd fucking own what, you know, your... Yeah, but you know, but you know what's funny, though? Uh, you know, once again, you, the, you know, you're a man, you own up to your responsibilities. When you know about the responsibility, it sure. took all these. I mean, it's a woman's fault too. Why didn't she reach out to him? Maybe she did. Maybe she did it. You know, all of a sudden now that you know he's older. Oh, hey, your dad could be Rocky Johnson. Then this person comes out of the gate to say, "Hey, I'm your son." Hey, it falls on the mother too that she should have been communicating with that motherfucker. Bro, dude, I 100 percent agree with you, man. I 100 percent agree. But they actually did have communication. He actually sent letters to one of the children's mother before that she gave birth i'm um, just finding it here um uh so vera so lisa who is uh vera's 
mother, uh, Lisa's mother, uh, Rocky tra- uh, said, Rocky traveled to a wrestling show. He wrote a letter saying that he'd be back, adding PS I love you at the bottom and signing the note with the nickname he used long before his son ever did, The Rock, but he never returned. When he called on the night before Lisa was born, it marked the last time Vera would hear from him. She learned shortly afterward that The Rock was already married and had kids. She'd always thought he'd come back, Lisa says. Uh, When I was old enough to understand, she started telling me some bits and pieces. Uh, She said that Rocky left Vancouver. His wrestling colleagues did their best to help Vera uh, and her, checking in on her uh, on the way through town, sometimes delivering diapers or clothes for the baby. Okay. So... (sighs) Wrestlers of that generation, you know, with these guys, you know, feeling, you know, fuck this poor, uh, you know, woman, blah, 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 like the rock, Rocky's done it again. Like, why would these wrestlers be the ones who are coming delivering diapers or clothes for the baby? Again, I don't know. But I mean, again, this is a situation that, again, I don't know what's going on in Rocky Johnson's mind. Maybe he did ditch him and stuff. But the fact is, is that, I mean, this situation is very um, very sensitive. You don't know what went on behind closed doors. And also, you don't know if that's the, the truth that she told them that she was having a kid. You know what I mean? It's just very hard. We're just going off the hearsay. We're going off hearsay and speculation, Angel. And I, I understand that. Like, there's a lot of – because, like, to me as well, like, why wasn't this called out by any of the boys that Rocky wrestled with over the years? You know, obviously, it takes that – you know, old school wrestling mindset is like, keep your mouth shut. But like, do you think like some of this would have come out in like shoot interviews and stuff like that? If some of the boys had known over the years, like, Oh, Rocky Johnson. Yeah, man, that guy fucking fucked more bitches than fucking, you know, whatever. Absolutely. But, like, Has that really come out? Was he known as being a fucking player? As far as I knew about Rocky Johnson, I don't think he was a player. Because I never heard anything about about this individual, but again, I'm not from that era, so I don't know the whole story about Rocky Johnson. The fact is, is that the guy was an athlete. The guy would travel on around the world. He laid he laid down with many women, um, supposedly, and you know, I mean, again, we don't know what went through his mind when he was confronted with these situations. So it's just very difficult. Yeah, no, I completely understand, man. But it, it just, you look at this and you look at it from the point of these people growing up without a dad. And that to me just is like, man, that's fucked. But again, you do not know what was said between both consenting adults. You know what I mean? It's just a yeah. lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. You know, I mean, there's a lot to analyze. There's a lot to deduce in regards to the situation because, again, was there something in that mix to kind of like say, you know, like to set him up basically like, you know, I'm going to get him, you know, once he starts making money, I'm going to hit him with a, you know, child support. I don't, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's so many things you could say about this situation. Well, I mean, what's your your overall, what's your overall opinion on it? Like, what do you, what do you think of it? Looking at the facts, looking at the case, where do you see it? Like, oh, yeah, he probably, he probably gave, you know, he probably, you know, had these kids. I mean, like I said, he was a wrestler. He traveled on the run world and he dealt with a lot of women. So, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I think he was a, a part of um, that, you know, the having kids with other women. I just, it's just funny that it's just happening now that he is gone and people want to um, stake claim to the, to the name, you know? Yeah. And do you think that, like, yeah, you've already said The Rock doesn't owe these people anything. Do you think no, that, like, The Rock hasn't made any statements about this? Because like, he has nothing to do with it. True. But do you think that he will be eventually, like, including these people in his family? Like, if this, if you were The Rock and all these people came out about your dad saying that, hey, we're half-brothers and half sister, whatever it is. Okay, and? Would you welcome these people into your family? It just depends on the situation, man. It depends on what they're asking for. It depends if they really want to make a connection. I mean, like I said, it's a very difficult situation because you don't know 
You just don't know, man. I mean, like I said, Dwayne might not want anything to do with them, not because he's just dissing himself from them. It's because it's like, hey, that's between you and my dad, and I have nothing to do with you guys, and I'm happy for what I'm doing right now, so leave me alone. Yeah. I mean, it's fair enough, man. Like, it's definitely an understanding thing. My thing is as well, like, from my opinion, looking at it, say, like, Rocky knew about all these kids, everything like that. As a child growing up, or as a person, you know, growing up, seeing the like Rocky Johnson, like in media with you know Dwayne Johnson as his son and Adda as his uh, you know partner, like you look at it and go, "Fuck, man!" Like my dad doesn't want me, but like wants him. Like that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't want to be in my life, but wants to be in 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 Dwayne's life. I don't know, man. That would that would be, that would destroy a kid, bro. No, I understand it would destroy a kid, but again, the situations are very sensitive, and we don't know what was said in regards of what he knew and didn't know. I'm talking about Rocky Johnson. Um, again, this is all hearsay because now he's dead. You know, now you got letters, now you got little notes, and then, you know, there's, there's nothing that we can do now to get get it from the horse's mouth. He's just thinking now. Um, I mean, like I said, unless they go find a way to get in contact with Dwayne and see if he's interested in being part of their lives. But until then, they just got to keep pushing forward. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree. But I think it's time that we start wrapping this up, Angel. Uh, I think that, you know, we've covered off uh, the Rocky Johnson story. We'll have a chat with John. Maybe he wants to sort of do a part two on this and we can see. Yeah, maybe we could do a part two. You know, like I said, I'm squinting here. And like I said, I got a massive headache. So sorry for everyone that, uh, again, I was in a car accident, um, so I got a concussion. I'm pretty beat up, so I'm not at my top of my game, so I do apologize, but we're trying our best to give you a great show. Um, like I said, um, I don't want to lay down and be like, not do the show, but again, I want to give you 100%. But again, I, it was like two days ago that I got into, so I'm trying to get back into my normal routine. And that just goes to the show, the professionalism, ladies and gentlemen, of, of the Kingpin. Uh, you know, being in a car accident two days ago, being pretty beat up, like knowing the show must go on. Uh, huge respect for Angel, who who, who decides to sh- decided to be able to show up uh, uh, and do this show for all of the fans on Russo's brand, and also the all the wrestling with tragedy fans. Uh, I know that Angel appreciates you all for tuning in and checking it out. As you can all go, guys, you know, please show Angel some respect uh, for showing up and doing an amazing job mm-hmm. tonight. You know what we should do? I think uh, I, I think what we should do is, uh, and I'm not saying that's guaranteed, and I'm not saying it's, it's going to happen. Maybe we there's a there's five of them. Maybe we could, should reach out to one of them to see if they're willing to do an interview and get their side of the story. I think that would be a great idea. We'll take that offline. We'll make sure we can try and reach out to some of these guys, and and you know, hopefully, we can get one or two of them on. Because uh, I think that would be a really interesting, uh, you know, discussion that we could have. No, but, uh, but guys, without further ado, we are going to wrap up. Make sure you go and subscribe to Russo'sBrand.com slash, also Patreon.com slash Russo TWC. Uh, also, you can find Wrestling with Tragedy on all your podcast platforms on YouTube. So please give us a five star review, give us a follow, give us a like, give us a share. We appreciate all that good shits. Uh, but guys. Until next time, we'll see you again very, very soon. Take care. Absolutely. Peace. This is Vince Russo's The Brand.